Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to another MLB 17 The Show video and in this one I'm gonna be going over the MLB subscriber tournament that I'm hosting and this will be the whole update blah 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 whatever you want to call this kind of introduction I guess to this tournament so let's just get into it basically what it is is I'm going to do a 32 player tournament and that is because I tried to do a 64 player tournament but I could only get like 58 to 60 guys and doing that kind of tournament would have been so much more difficult to do um, because I don't have well the the website I'm using is Bracket Ninja and I don't have the premium account because that costs like a hundred bucks um, so I did a 32 team tournament and you guys will see that in the brackets down below, but a 64 would have just been too difficult. So I decided to cut it down to 32, but that doesn't mean that you guys won't be able to get in some tournaments because the more tournaments I do, the more people are obviously going to get involved and all that. So if you're not in this tournament, please stick around, be patient. You will definitely, um, well, I can hopefully try to get 64 people in the next one and then everybody can be in it, but you should be in the next one or the next couple if we can get uh, that all worked out. But for this one, this first one, I'm just gonna make it 32 people. It's just kinda easier for me. It kinda helps out the whole channel run smoothly, or the whole tournament, I should say, run smoothly, just this first time. So be patient, guys. But now, let me go over the rules here. So, if you guys haven't watched that last subscriber video, it basically went over all the rules, but I'll go over them in a little bit more detail, I guess, now. Uh, so there's 32 people there's two regions one is group blue and one is red it doesn't really matter it's just I couldn't make a 32 team bracket so there's two brackets and it's randomized I put everybody's name into random.org or whatever that random site is and I was like boom let's just put in 32 names so I did that so you'll be playing a random opponent which will be your responsibility to go play the game um, and do all of your stuff with your opponent let me know if your opponent doesn't communicate with you isn't showing up or is cheating please send me some information uh, on Twitter like if he has more than three diamonds or a created player which I'll get into all the rules right now so it's gonna be five inning games against you and your opponent you guys can randomly flip a coin you guys can do whatever you need to but it's going to be two three Two, best two of three, five inning games. You guys can decide who's the first opponent to be home. The third and the first, or the first and the third team will be the home team. So you guys can figure that out if you want to like flip a coin, do a random draw. Um, if one of you guys just wants to be home, it doesn't matter. Just game one and game three, if necessary, will be the home team. Then uh, rules just for the game. There's going to be no quick counts, no uh, guest pitch five inning game and that's just pretty common lastly there's going to be no created players not 99 overall not 90 overall not zero overall not anywhere in between no created players just to make it fair for everybody uh if a player goes diamond that was a gold like i don't know jacob de Gram, i know is a um possible candidate for possibly going diamond uh if you have him on the team and it's just a whole trust thing if you have him on the team at the start of the tournament you can have him on the team if he goes diamond as a extra diamond um, because you had him on the goal or you had him as a gold first and he just went diamond so that that's the luck of the draw I guess pick your players wisely or or not um, but the last the last little rule here is um, you can only have three diamonds on the team it's not like an MVP series but you can only have three diamonds on the team to keep it fair for the littler guys littler guys that don't have as many diamonds or golds on the team so only three diamonds that can be whatever tier diamond you want but two of them have to be position players one has to be a pitcher it could be a bullpen pitcher or a starting pitcher it doesn't really matter but it has to be if you if you are gonna use diamonds those are the maximum you can have you don't have to if you don't want if you want to use all golds all silvers all bronzes whatever one diamond just uh it's got to be a maximum of two position players or one pitcher and or one pitcher so honestly i think that covers everything 
anything I missed will be in the description below along with the brackets so make sure you guys check out if you're in it or not like I said it was totally random 100% just using that website so if you're not in just be patient uh, you should get into the next one or the next couple whenever I do this again uh, you'll have a chance to be in it for sure so hopefully we can get more people in here the next couple times but I guess it's whatever uh, this first one just kind of a test run but uh, we'll have to see how it all goes thanks for watching everyone hopefully you guys enjoyed this short little video make sure you do like oh shoot I ran a second whoops make sure you guys like it subscribe if you enjoyed it stick around for more tournaments in the future I want to get as many of you guys involved as possible but that's all I got for you guys today thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one Follow me on Twitter at Clemox to let me know about any information as well. But uh, that's all I got. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.